Xcool finally did it. This is the F2 Ultra UV laser and it doesn't burn your material. Wow. This is not melting the feather whatsoever. That's right, a laser that doesn't burn or even use heat. This looks absolutely phenomenal. There is no soot, there is no burn marks. So what the heck does it do? Well, a UV laser uses what you call cold processing. Without getting into the weeds too much here, this is just a glorified way of saying that the photons break the surface level of the material instead of heating it up like other lasers. Look at the detail of this. Wow. If I were to sum this up in one sentence, it would be this. It is a laser that has incredible detail that does not do damage to the material. I will show you guys how to save the most money with this machine towards the end of the video. Now, with that being said, I do have affiliate links, but I want you guys to know something. If I don't like something about this machine, I'm going to tell you. And if I do like something, I'm going to tell you as well. So I will try to be unbiased as possible. That's my promise for you guys. The first thing we are going to do is to calibrate the machine. I put the white test card on here. Now we are going to close the lid and hit engrave. This was pretty darn accurate, but I'm going to go ahead and hit auto alignment and just bring it up just a hair. As far as speed and power, we have a 5 watt 355 nanometer UV laser and 15,000 millimeters a second speed. So this is definitely no slouch. Wow. I am already noticing the detailed difference with this laser. Come on. Now this was actually 28 seconds. I could have sped it up, but what we are looking for here is detail accuracy and wow. That is insane. We have to do this. I am engraving this goose feather. Wow. This is not melting the feather whatsoever. What in the world? 13 seconds on the dot. And look at this quality. 15,000 millimeters a second speed on a goose feather. Who does this? Well, apparently we do. This is not rubbing off whatsoever. The overall objective with this is to see if the feather would burn because this material will burn faster than any other thing. And guys, the cold engraving is working great. I used to do these painted American flag turkey feathers. I have some crazy stuff up my sleeve. My ideas are going wild with this and I can't wait to share them with you. I mean, just, you can just mix these two together. Just look at it. Just get a look at that. Just look at it. But I'm, I'm just too excited. Something I want to point out on the outside of the F2 is that we have the same familiar color scheme as the little baby brother, the F2 that just released. We can see here, we have a removable exhaust. I'm gonna pop that out and look at this. Just look at it. This is going to make it easier to clean. However, UV lasers don't get as dirty as other lasers. The spot size of this laser beam is 10 microns, which far exceeds the CO2 lasers. So we are getting some super fine detail and probably the cleanest engraving. Actually, it's not probably. It is the cleanest engraving out of any x laser so far. Look at how great this engraving is. I have not been able to get this level of detail with any diode laser that I own. This is insane. That UV cutting sounds crazy. Wow. Okay guys, tell me how this isn't cool. Are you seeing the detail? Oh my gosh. I cut this out at 100% power and three millimeters a second speed, and it doesn't even look really charred. I mean, it's a little dark. The overall detail on this is amazing. I have not been able to achieve this on any laser. In fact, realistic portraits and 3D portraits have been my nemesis. I've never been able to really lock them down because I don't do them a lot, but for the second try, I nailed this, just guessing and it looks great. And the AI x did is pretty cool too, so a lot of cool stuff here. One standout feature, in my opinion, that x gave us, and I don't mean this to be biased, but the 48 megapixel camera. And just like with the F2, 
this thing is insanely accurate with the camera placement. Okay, people's always taking my tools around the house. Let's see how well this engraves. Okay, I have my name right where I want it. Let's hit the framing button. Guys, I know you can't see this, but where my name's at and where this is framing at is perfectly lined up. This camera accuracy, top notch. You can stick the material in the engraving bed, line it up and hit go, and it does its job. I'm guessing on the settings here, guys, I probably need to go a little slower. Wow. <laughs> Five seconds. Come on. Are you serious? Six seconds. Wow. That camera accuracy is spot on. Guys, that is too cool. Look how clean it is. That doesn't get any cooler. I could have slowed this down a little bit and got a brighter etch, but my gosh, that's amazing. Five seconds. That is amazing. I engraved my entire Milwaukee tool set. Tell me how this gets any cooler, guys. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, just kidding. I have one more Milwaukee tool to engrave this pen. Let's see how well this does small letters. Well, I got the power a little too high and I bumped the pin so it's a little sideways, but you know what, that's all right. This is just a test and I was guessing on the settings. I know I'm such a huge nerd, but I'm so excited about this. I mean, just going around and marking all the tools and the way that this engraved the plastic, guys, there was no smell. You can feel the etch on there with your hand and it looks great and the camera placement accuracy so far has been absolutely phenomenal, just like the F2. So uh, let's keep going. But what else can this engrave on? If I bring up my little influencer guy here, <laughs> I hate that word. We have glass, crystal as mentioned, venom, wood. You can't see anything, but this is etching this ceramic. What in the world? We actually engraved on white ceramic. That is unheard of. No other laser could do this. And you can look up here and see where I started this at, but I didn't think it was doing anything. But my gosh, when I run my fingers across here, that thing is etched into that plate. This looks absolutely wonderful. This looks absolutely phenomenal. There is no soot. There is no burn marks. As far as the coloring, it is this perfect mixture of brown and white. If I were to engrave this with a diode, it would still look good, but inside the edges of the lettering, this leatherette would start peeling over time and everything else. I do not have to worry about that with a UV. And there is a mode called internal etching. So instead of engraving the top, we have an internal engraving mode, which you see in the crystals, like you're watching here, it actually engraves inside and leaves you a 3D or 2D model. To do the inner engraving, we need to change the lens and calibrate. Wow. That is absolutely crazy. You see that? Wow, look at this. Absolutely amazing. Guys, this turned out insane. I think I am addicted. And this is the most basic, simple project. There are way more that I am going to show you in my official review. But so far, setting this up, calibrating and doing this was way more simple than I thought. You can see the swirls and the galaxy right there. That just looks 
absolutely amazing. I'm so excited about this. And I will tell you guys now, the market is high for these and you can make so much money with this. As far as surface level goes, it's just like the other lasers. We can relief engrave, cut, and use the rotary. Wow, I have no idea what to tell you guys. I am completely blown away right now, just live for the camera. Look at the detail. This took five minutes and 41 seconds. I'm gonna flip it around. We have the reverse image here. Okay, I'm going to call it, this is the coolest engraving I have so far. The detail on this glass, guys, it's crazy. I am just so dang excited. All of the Galvo lasers in the F-Series lineup have good engraving quality, but the UV laser, I am seeing it firsthand here where it is a lot better. I mean, there is no arguing with the results that we're getting. And just to be able to set glass on here and engrave it with this level of accuracy with no prep is amazing. Imagine the money you can make engraving wine bottles and things like that. This is pretty crazy. So far, I haven't ran into any problems, and just like with the F2, it's the easiest laser I think I have used. And I promise you, I'm not being biased, I'm just giving you my experience. So all these engravings turned out phenomenal, and I'm so excited about this laser and the capabilities of it, but who is a UV laser for? I'm gonna tell you and try to keep this as simple as possible. In my personal opinion, I think the UV laser is for anyone who wants clean detail on delicate materials without any burn marks or warping. It shines on plastics, acrylic, silicones, leather, patches, crystals, ceramics, fabrics, and more. But in my honest opinion, here's the real win. A UV laser lets you offer products most creators cannot touch. That means higher prices, more unique orders, and new customers who need precision work done. So if you want to stand out and make more money and do those projects for clients that most people don't, I think a UV laser is the fastest way to do that. And please, just don't take my word for it. Hop on Reddit, hop on a Facebook group, type in UV laser. There is a huge market boom happening right now with technology, especially UV lasers lasers. So riding this wave coming into this, I think is going to be a great opportunity for a lot of creators. So at the end of the day, if you already have a laser engraving business, I think this is going to be one of the most notable upgrades that you can make, especially when it comes to making money. I hate to say this before my official review, but I'm giving this my stamp of approval, like from me to you. Everything that I have seen so far does not throw up any red flags for me. Everything is working as it should. And since we have the whole F-Series lineup like you see behind me, Extol has taken this, all the DNA and those machines put in here, and they have been perfecting these series of machines. So this is gonna open up a lot of possibilities for a lot of people, and I just, I can't wait for you guys to see more. Okay, let's get to the pricing. How do you guys save the most money? We're gonna jump right into this. You know what Extol does, and these pre-launch periods, you can always save the most money, right? Starting November 14th, we have our pre-launch, which if you pay $50 down, you save $600 off the total price, and you pay $39.99. That's for $600 off. Now the MSRP with this in USD is $4,599. So saving $600 on this, like I said, brings it down to $39.99, which is a heck of a discount. If you are new to UV lasers, by all means shop around, but I think the F2 Ultra so far from what I'm seeing, unbiasedly, it's doing a great job. I will always have the best deal on this laser year around posted in my links below with any active promo codes. So if you guys do go through my links, it helps support the channel and no extra cost to you. And I can't thank you guys enough. This is how I stay up late and make all these videos. And I promise you guys, I want to bring you an unbiased review whether I have an affiliate link or not, I'm here to help you guys. So I just want you guys to see my heart there. I know some people get hung up on the affiliate links, but honestly, guys, I just want to bring you something honest from my heart. You guys have to wait until my official review to see more. Like I said, the best prices are linked below. And if you would like to get on the early bird deposit and save that 600, you can do so below. Post any questions below and I will do my best to answer them. I'll see you guys later.